Hey man, Shane here. Let's talk about tracking calories while bulking. If you're familiar with cutting, you know that you'd use a calorie tracker to keep your calories under a certain target, allowing you to lose a little bit of weight every day. When you're bulking, there's a little more to it. You want to make sure that you're eating enough calories to maximize the rate of muscle growth, but not so many surplus calories that you've got a waterfall of extra energy spilling over into an ocean of fat gain. Now, that doesn't mean that you should be main gaining or anything like that. A tiny little calorie surplus isn't enough to maximize the rate of muscle growth. What I mean is, you should be eating 300, maybe even 500 extra calories, but you should be consistent with it. You should be eating that same surplus every single day without really ever overshooting it or undershooting it by very much. That's where calorie tracking can come in. Maybe. Let's dive into it. Okay, let's quickly go over the basics. If you want to build muscle fast, then you need to eat enough calories to maximize your rate of muscle growth. There are a slew of factors that determine how quickly you should gain weight, but to keep this video simple, let's call it 400 calories. That means that every day that you're not eating 400 extra calories, you're leaving some muscle growth on the table. The problem is, if you overshoot that calorie goal, your body might burn those extra calories up, especially if you have a hard gainer phenotype, but you're also risking some extra fat gain. That's where a calorie tracker comes in. With a calorie tracker, you know how many calories you're eating, roughly, and that way you can hit your calorie goal more precisely, allowing for faster, leaner, more consistent muscle growth. Once you have that steady calorie intake, you can weigh yourself every week and adjust your diet accordingly. If you're not gaining weight, you can add another 200 calories in to get things moving again. If you're gaining weight too fast, you can take 100 calories out, that way you can slow things down. That's how you guarantee bulking progress from week to week and month to month, even as you're gaining muscle and even as your metabolism is adapting to your calorie surplus. Now, you don't need a calorie tracker. There are ways to be precise without them, especially if you eat a fairly consistent diet. If you eat similar meals at similar times every day, that'll give you a fairly steady calorie intake. From there, it's the exact same as if you were tracking calories. You weigh yourself every week and you adjust your calorie intake accordingly to keep yourself bulking at the right pace. Okay, now let's talk about the downsides of tracking calories. So, first of all, it's impossible to know exactly how many calories we're eating. Food labels aren't perfectly accurate, food databases aren't perfectly accurate, and we aren't perfectly accurate either. Sometimes we leave oil in the pan or crumbs on the plate. We're not perfect. Second, it's impossible to know exactly how many calories we're burning. A good calorie tracker will factor in your height, your weight, your body composition, and your activity levels, but even then, it's still just an estimate. Plus, our activity levels vary a little bit from day to day and different people fidget different amounts and sometimes these things can change based on the degree of the calorie surplus we're in. With a lot of hard gainers, for instance, the more calories we eat, the more we tend to fidget and move. And that can change how a calorie tracker estimates how many calories we burn. The thing is, you're still more accurate with a calorie tracker than you are without one. And besides, if you weigh yourself every week and you adjust your calorie intake accordingly, a lot of these things come out in the wash. The main objection to calorie trackers though is that they're a pain, especially during the first day when you're setting everything up. You need to input all of your stats and then you need to log your meals from scratch. It gets easier as time goes on because once you've input a meal, you can just log it again with a single click of a button, but it's still a pain and it's never as easy as just winging it. So you have to decide whether it's worth it for you. They do work, and they do give you a slightly straighter path towards your goal by allowing for leaner and faster muscle growth, but you're going to reach that goal either way. It just depends on how seriously you want to take it and how much of a hurry you're in. Okay, now let's talk about the best calorie tracking app. Back in the day, I used to use MyFitnessPal, but it clearly wasn't designed for bulking, and the food database wasn't that good, and it was a little bit clunky, but things have come a long way since then. Lane Norton's app is pretty good, Mike Israel tells is pretty good too, and the one we're affiliated with, Macrofactor, is totally killer. It's helmed by the guys at Stronger by Science, Greg Knuckles and Eric Trexler, and these are the guys who are famous for publishing monthly applications in Strength Sport, the research review that everyone looks to for advice on hypertrophy and strength. So, as you can imagine, the recommendations in their calorie tracking app are perfect. The algorithm does a really good job of adjusting your calorie targets based on your weekly weight gain, and it's actually pretty easy to use, too. Best of all, they adjusted it based on our feedback to be perfect for skinny guys who are trying to bulk up. So, if you're looking for a calorie tracking app, I'd recommend Macrofactor. I'll put the details in the description. But, you don't need to use a calorie tracker. 
You can eat consistent meals every day, you can build your diet out of pre-calculated recipes, or you can track your calories. You might even do some mix of all three of those things. As long as you weigh yourself every week and you adjust your calorie and take accordingly, you'll do great. All right, that's it for now. Remember to hit the gym, smash your smoothie, and get to better. I'll see you in the next one.